Hey folks, welcome back to Muscle Cars of Texas. In our previous uh, videos about this 64 Corvette that got wrecked, um, I'm fixing it today, cut the front end off, prep it for the new front end that's on its way. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not on its way yet. They gave us some things about six months out. Sorry. Anyway, but in preparation for that, naturally I take the windshield out, I clean off the firewall. But I left this specifically for you folks to see because this car took such a hit. These brackets are bent and the fiberglass behind it is all cracked up. I mean, it, it must have taken one hell of a hit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in the car, I'm gonna take the bolts off, we're gonna pull that power booster off and master cylinder, see what damage is behind it. And then I'm gonna start the process of actually taking this fiberglass front end off this car. Let me see what I need underneath there. Got to put my specs on. All right. All right. Everything is so bent up. how bent those brackets are. They're supposed to be straight. All of this bracketry is all bent. And what that's done, if you can see in here, all of this fiberglass is cracked. It's all got to be repaired. Which means I'm going to have to pull it back to its original location and then you know, grind it all, fiberglass it all, and put it all back together. This is all, this whole panel, what they call the upper surround panel, is glued. There's a metal cage in here, they call it the bird cage. And on that bird cage, they have put pieces of fiberglass. And that fiberglass, they actually glue this top panel to that fiberglass. So we take the windshield out. Now what I'm gonna do, we take the windshield out. Now what I'm going to do? No! <laughs> what happened there? That freaking thing fell on my foot. Oh, All right. Anyway, so we take the windshield out because what I'm going to do, wind up doing. This has a really nice gap across here on the uh, that lower trim molding. So I don't think I want to screw that up too much, you know, because. Putting it back, it's just a pain in the butt. But, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice this here, straight down on both sides, and leave this panel, this piece of the panel, in place for the time being. I just want to see how it comes out. Because the, the new surround panel that'll come, will come with all of this, all in one solid piece, all the way around. So, I'm going to cut it here, cut it here, and pull all of this, on both sides off and get this whole front end off the car. And when we get the new one, depending on what I figure on doing, I might cut the new one, you know, this piece here, so I can add it in right along these two cut lines. And uh, that way I don't have to disturb all of this really nice gapping and all that kind of stuff on the, on the chrome piece that goes there. So let me go get some hammers and some cutters and. I'll be right back. I guess I gotta put my love my specs on because I can't see nothing. Anyway. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, that's it for the cutting. Take the old hammer. I know all of you out there must be cringing just about now. But it's okay. It's okay. And what this does is I'm going to start hammering on all these pieces all the way down where the glue is at so I can pre-break the, break the glue before I go ahead and cut it off with the, with the air hammer. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, front end's off. That is how you take a Corvette apart. Even though it's plastic, you can still take a hammer to it, air hammer, just beat it up a little bit. It'll come apart eventually. But anyway, so I'm gonna go do the other side now and get this prepped uh, and get it ready for the new front end. But, you know, if you want something like this done, I know nobody wants me beating on their car, but sometimes it just has to be done. So, that being said, we can do all that for you right here at Muscle Cars of Texas.